Uh, we're going to do number 18, which is taken from uh, the GCSE paper, June 2017 to H. And uh, we start 16 to the 1 over 5 times 2 to the x is equal to 8 to the 3 over 4. Work out the exact value of x. So when they say exact value of x, it means that you should keep the answer or the value of x that you're going to find in square root if it was a square root or in the fraction form. You don't change it to a decimal. So we start the way of thinking is that we have to change the 16 and the 8 into base 2. And we can do that because it's 16 is equal to 2 to the 4 and 8 is equal to 2 to the 3. So 2 to the 4 and you already have it raised to the 1 over 5 multiplied by 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the 3 which is the value of 8 uh, also already raised to 3 over 4. Now you multiply the exponents, so you're going to have 2, 4 times 1 is 4, 1 times 5 is 5, times 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the 9, numerator times numerator, 3 times 3 is 9, and denominator times denominator, 1 times 4 is 4. Now since we have same base, therefore we can take the exponents, and add them up and they are equal to 9 over 4. Why is that? Because when we have same base a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. So this is this is the rule that we used here. So 4 over 5 plus x is equal to 9 over 4. We take 4 over 5 to the other side in order to solve for x. We change its sign, so it's minus 4 over 5. Common denominator is 20. What did we do to 4 to make it 20? You multiply it by 5. Whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So it's 45 minus times 4 times 4 minus 16 and the answer for x is equal to 29 over 20. And you leave it this in this manner because they want the exact value for x. In uh, number 19, in the same paper, we have an expression, an algebraic expression. And uh, they said that uh, it can be written as a single fraction in this form where a and b are integers work out the value of a and the value of b so the way of thinking here is first we have to find the common denominator and you know that when there's uh, no fraction you can directly write over one so what is the uh, common denominator here it's the product of x minus 3 times x plus 3 now what should we do to one to, to uh, or what should we multiply one with to get this the uh, this um, fact these two factors so we multiply one by x minus three times x plus three and we do the same for the numerator now why did i change it to x squared minus nine because when you multiply a times b a minus b times a plus b it's equal to a squared minus b squared so this is also an identity that you have to recall minus um, you take the denominator x minus 3 times x plus 3 and you divide it by this denominator so it's x minus 3 and the, re the remaining is x plus 3 so you should multiply this denominator by x plus 3 in order for you to get the common the least common multiple or the common denominator and whatever you do to the denominator you do to the numerator of this fraction or you can say that what did you do to x minus 3 so that it became x minus 3 times x plus 3 
we multiplied it by x plus 3 so you multiply x minus 3 times x plus 3 and the numerator you also multiply it with the same fraction uh, with the same factor or with the same number x plus 3 and this is what we did here and the last one it's x plus 3 so what did we do to x plus 3 to make it become x minus 3 times x plus 3 we multiplied it by x minus 3 so whatever you do to the denominator you do to the numerator and we have this result now in order to go or in order to reach this uh, fraction we need to expand so uh, expanding x plus 2 times x plus 3 you're going to get x squared plus 5x plus 6 because you multiply x times x it's x squared and 2 times 3 is 6 then you you use uh, this method x times 3 out times out is 3x plus 3x n times n is plus 2x add them up you will get plus 2 plus 3 it's plus 5x similarly for this one but here you have to pay attention before you expand and remove the brackets these brackets you have to enter the minus in both cases so we multiply x times x is x squared minus 6 times minus 3 is plus 18 out times out is minus 3x n times n is minus 6x add them up you will get minus 9. now before we uh, before we uh, remove the brackets we need to expand the minus or distribute the minus inside so this is what happened here 2x squared minus 18 then minus x squared minus 5x and here you have minus 6 because minus times plus is minus also minus x squared and minus times minus is plus 9x and minus 18 and now we collect like terms 2x squared and minus 1x squared it's uh, and minus 1x squared it's going to be 0 so we they cancel uh, we have 5 minus 5x and plus 9x is plus 4x and then minus 18 minus 6 and minus 18 is minus 42 over x squared minus 9 so we have found uh, we have uh, per performed this expression and changed it to this uh, one fraction that they want now they want you to find a or the value of a and b so if we want to compare this is equal to the given fraction which is ax plus b over x squared minus 9 so a is 4 and b is minus 42 let us move to number 20 in number 20 you have a diagram that shows part of the graph of this function and this is a quadratic function because of degree 2 for the x here and they are asking us by drawing a suitable straight line use your graph to find an estimate we have to pay attention that we want to find an estimate using the graph so your answer might differ a little for the solution of x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0 so we start and we should think of it in this manner I need to change this into this x squared or this equation quadratic equation to resemble this function so what should I do to minus 1 to make it plus 3 I should add 4 so I add 4 to both sides like we did here then what should I do to minus 3 so that it becomes minus 2 uh, minus 3x so that it becomes minus 2x 
I add x to both sides. So also, when you add x, you're going to have x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals to 4 plus x. So now this, if you look at this function, x squared, comparing them, minus 2x plus 3, it's equal to y. So I can replace this expression here or this quadratic form and write y. So y is equal to 4 plus x. So y, this is the equation of a line. So we need to graph this line. We need to graph this line. And the graphing this line, we need the t table. So x, y, when x is 0, when x is 0, y is 4. And when y is 0, x is minus 4. So you take the graph and you, um, you uh, draw. the First, you have to pinpoint the intercepts. This is x, 0, y, 4. And there you will have x uh, minus 4 for the x and 0 for the y you draw your line and once you draw your line you will notice that you have points of intersection between the curve and the line so the, the you, you you take this point and you draw a perpendicular directly to the x-axis and where it intersects the x-axis you have your first solution and then the same thing for your second point and you are finding the x of all the points of intersection between the line and the curve where it's the same or they are the solution these two points are the solution for the quadratic equation x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0. Then we continue. We have P is the point on the, gra on the graph where x is, e it's x is equal to 2. Calculate and estimate for the gradient of the graph at point P. So this is point P. It has 2 for x and for its y, it's 3, mainly. But they gave us that p has x2. So this is the point where you can draw a tangent to the graph through this point. This is the given. And you need to estimate the gradient of this tangent. When they say estimate, it means that they want you to use your graph in order for you to find the, uh, the solution. So you take two points on this tangent and then you rise. And here we're going down minus four units. And then you run and we're going here to uh, run minus two units. Therefore, the gradient is rise over run, which is equal to minus 4 over minus 2, which is approximately, or it's equal to 2, which is mainly the estimate of the gradient of the line tangent to the curve given at the point P, which belongs to this curve. 